This video is over the Spiral Exam 1 study guide. In this video, I'm both going to show you how to do every problem and how to answer multiple choice questions for tests like your Spiral Exam or the EOC that you're going to take in the spring or the ACT, which you'll take as a junior. So this first problem says we're going to put the following set of numbers in order from smallest to largest. So let's start by just using our answers here and see um, how we could answer this. Looking at that set, can you tell which number is the smallest or the largest? Looks like 6 is the largest number on here. So check your answers, and they all have a 6 right here. So that doesn't really help us um, cross any of our answers off. Let's look at the smallest number. See how we have different answers for smallest number over here? Well, negative 3 over 2, that would be just over 1. It's actually negative 1.5. So negative 3 is our smallest number. So I know that I can cross off A and I can cross off C. My answer is either B or D. Now let's look at B and D and find what's different. Let's see. They both go negative 3 and then negative 3 over 2. And then this is where they're different. So all we have to do is decide if 1 half is smaller than square root 5 or if it's bigger than square root of 5. Now remember, whenever you're trying to figure out square roots, what, they, what their decimal is close to, we think about putting the number before and after 5 that's a perfect square. So let's go backwards from 5. 4. 4 is a perfect square. The square root of 4 we should know is 2. So square root 5 is actually bigger, oops, that's backwards, bigger than 2. So I don't know, let's call it 2.2. .2. That's probably not exact, but it's just something bigger than 2. 1 half is definitely smaller than 2, so B is our answer. Okay, the next problem is asking us um, which e expression represents the perimeter of the rectangle, and in the next part we have which expression represents the area of the rectangle. So perimeter, you add up all the sides, and area, you multiply the sides together. So let's go ahead and label the rest of our rectangle. So if this side is 5, I know that this side is 5. Same way that the bottom is 3x plus 2, I know that the top is 3x plus 2. So perimeter is adding all of our like terms. So in here we've got, let's go with our x terms, 3x and 3x. Those would add up to 6x. Right away, we see that I've made a mistake on my da, 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 da. Okay, for this next problem, we have a rectangle off to the side, and it's asking us for um, which expression represents the perimeter of the rectangle, and then part two is asking which expression represents the area of the rectangle. So just a reminder, perimeter is add up all the sides, and area is multiply two sides together. So let's start over here in our rectangle. If this side is 5, I know that this side is 5. So we're going to label it 5. And then same way that the bottom is 3x plus 2, the top is 3x plus 2. So perimeter tells us to add up all of our sides. We're going to have 5 plus 5 plus 3x plus 2 plus 3x plus 2. All right, like terms. My only x terms are these two 3x's right here, and those add up to 6x, which, if I look at my answers, my answer has to be A. It's my only 6x. But let's confirm. 5 plus 5 is 10, plus 2 more is 12, plus 2 more is 14. So our perimeter is 6x plus 14. For the area, we're multiplying two sides. So we're going to put this side here times this side. So, distributing, we have 5 times 3x, so 15x. Well, right away, I know that my answer has to be b. It's the only one with a 15x. But we would also need to distribute the 5 and get 10 in the back as well, which is in our answer for b. All right, next, problem 3. A baker orders 162 eggs. Each carton contains 18 eggs. Write an equation to find the number x of cartons. Okay, so we have four different options here. The question is, should we take 18x and multiply it, add it, subtract it, or divide it? So 
162 is our total. It's what we're going to have our equation equal to. Each carton contains 18 eggs, and we want to know how many cartons we have. So we're going to do 18 times x to see how many cartons we have. Okay, our next problem says to solve this equation. So we have 4 parentheses x plus 5 equals 32. All right, anytime you see a number out front of parentheses, you should think distribute. So distribute it to both of the terms on the inside. So we get 4x plus 20 equals 32. Subtract over your 20. And then divide by 4. So here our answer is A. Now if you didn't know how to do this problem, we could plug in each of our answer solution options and see what gives us a true statement. So let's plug in 3 to both check it and to see what we could have done if we didn't know how to do the problem. So 3 plus 5 is 8, and 4 times 8 is 32. So we get a true statement, meaning that that is our solution. So using the answers, you could have just plugged each of those in instead of actually solving the equation over here. Next one, same idea. We could either solve it, or we could plug in our answer choices. This one looks a little hard with those fractions to plug in answer choices, so let's try to solve it first and see if we get an answer that's on our list. Again, any time that you see parentheses, you need to think about distributing that first thing, the number outside of the parentheses. So we have 5h plus 22 minus 2h. Don't forget to distribute the 2 to the negative h. Then we can combine like terms. On the left side, we have 5h and negative 2h. So that gives us 3h. Then we subtract over 22. Be careful here. Negative 5 minus 22 is a negative 27. And then we divide both sides by 3. We get h equals negative 9. You could again check yourself. You could plug negative 9 in everywhere that you see h. Minus a negative becomes a positive. And we get negative 5 equals negative 5. Okay, problem number six says, a cheetah is running 90 feet per second. An antelope starts running at the same time at 60 feet per second, but starts 120 feet ahead of the cheetah. After how many seconds will the cheetah catch the antelope? So we're going to have, we're going to set two equations equal. Our cheetah is running 90 feet per second. We want to know after how many seconds they will catch each other, so our seconds is our x value. So 90 seconds, 90 miles per second is our cheetah's expression. And then our antelope is running at 50, not miles, but feet, or 60 feet per second. So we're going to put an x with that as well. But the antelope started 120 feet ahead. So it gets a boost of 120. So now we're going to solve this. So subtract over 60x. We get... 30x equals 120, divide by 30, and we get x equals 40.